Is here with details that we have to this point of a story breaking right now out of China. And that's right, story breaking right now, and we're basing this on reports. Uh, there is now a report that a Canadian is being detained in China. We're talking about a former diplomat for this country. We have a picture of him for you right here. His name is Michael Kovrig. Now, and these reports say that he was arrested around 10 p.m. local time on Monday while he was on a street in Beijing. Now, China didn't formally... Two years ago today, as I was flying from Japan to Australia, I was woken up in the middle of the night with the terrible news that our colleague Michael Kovrig had been arrested and detained in China. It never would have dawned on me that two years later, 24 months later, he would still be behind bars in China. We all know the terrible injustice that has been done to Michael. We know that he's been a victim of hostage diplomacy, that he's being held simply because he was a Canadian who happened to be in China at the wrong place at the wrong time. We know the terrible conditions he's been living under in a cell, being able to see only his cellmates and his prison guards. But what you may not know on a more personal note is that he has touched more people around the world behind bars than most of us do when we're able to talk to them and see them because so many people have been touched, affected, and outraged by the treatment that he has been subjected to. And what you may not know on a very personal note is that I've found out more and feel like I know Michael more now after two years of not seeing him than I may have after the years of working with him, through his letters, but most of all through the example that he has shown of his resilience, his courage, his determination to keep up the fight and to keep true to who he is. Because Michael has been and will continue to be somebody who will fight for what he believes to prevent and resolve conflict. And so as we mark this unjust detention, I wanna let him know, I wanna let his family know that we will not rest and I know that nobody around the world who cares about Michael will rest until he is free again, reunited with his loved ones, and able to resume his work.